Hello and welcome back to Analysis Review. Even the proverbial Martian knows by now that Europe's economy is in trouble. The crisis in the Eurozone grinds on, threatening to hit the global economy. Yet in the midst of all this gloom, there is, it seems, one beacon, Germany. Is Europe's biggest economy a model for others to follow? With me to discuss this are from Frankfurt, Ralph Atkins, our bureau chief there, and with me in London, Michael Steen, our recently appointed European economics correspondent. Welcome. Ralph, I'd like to start with you. You recently wrote a big analysis of the German economy, but I mean, just take, tell us quickly, I mean, 10 years ago, they were being seen as a bit of a basket case. Now they're a success story. What's happened? Absolutely. I think what's happened, uh, what was important were the reforms that were made in Germany uh, almost a decade ago under Gerhard Schroeder, the previous chancellor, which led to greater labor market flexibility. And at the same time, we had a push, big push by the big German com corporations and uh, smaller companies, companies across the industrial sector to um, uh, in, 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 increase their competitiveness, which they managed to do quite dramatically. And that's now really paying off as we come out of at least the worst of the very worst of the financial crisis of the last few years. But isn't it a isn't bit it? the same old German story of an export driven boom? And this particular Absolutely. one, a lot of the exports are going to China and there's talk maybe they're being they're too dependent on China. Uh, well, certainly the dynamism of, of Chinese growth uh, is a large part of the story. Uh, and they're obviously profiting from that. But they're profiting from uh, exports to other countries as well. And for instance, uh, exports to Russia grew faster last year. So they are pretty diversified. But what they do require is, is global growth, of course. Um, but then the Germans would also say that they are rebalancing because what, of course, is happening is that the uh, impact of all that business they're doing in the rest of the world is feeding through into jobs uh, and therefore supporting the domestic economy. Don't forget, unemployment in Germany has fallen to the lowest since the country was reunified in 1990 and in the middle of an economic crisis across the world. That's pretty remarkable. Right. Now, Michael, bring you in. I mean, look, talk of labour market reform, competitiveness, healthy exports. I mean, that sort of quick sketch of the, the, the new German model or the old German model, if you like, is that really one that others are going to follow? I and mean, there's lots of talk, but is there any evidence that others are trying to uh, copy well, this? Exactly. I mean, what's not to like? I mean, they're, they're in a very good place right now. Um, and, and it does indeed you know, cause politicians in the UK, for example, to start talking about, oh, maybe we can emulate their vocational training and so on. Um, that, 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 however, has always been a debate. Nothing really ever seems to change much outside of Germany. And I think one of the things about the German model is it is fairly specific to Germany. Um, not least, you've got the the, the whole um, the Mittelstand, the small um, manufacturing companies in particular, um, and also the way the economy is built up. It's, it's about 20% of German D GDP is manufacturing compared to about 12 in the UK. So you certainly can just transplant the model. Uh, Ralph, what do you? I mean, how does it look from where you're sitting? I was going to say there's a, there's a cultural dimension to it, of course, because the reaction of German companies during the crisis, the, the serious recession of 2009, the global slowdown was not like the UK and the US companies to, to, to slash their workforces. What the German companies did was they, they held on to their labor on, and they used these government supported um, short time working schemes to keep their workforce. So when the rebound came and global growth returned, they were ready and they were able to take advantage of that in a big way. And I'm not sure if the US, UK political systems would ever uh, think that way. I mean, also, we shouldn't forget here that in Germany, there are, you talk of particular cultural dimensions, well, one of them is that they themselves don't feel that everything is always that rosy. They say they've got problems, aging population, you know, structural reforms that still need to take place. Um, is, that, yeah. is that not the sort of darker but side? The shorter term, I think that the, the Germans now think that they, are, they can handle crisis. They're, they, they've uh, learned from the experience of the last few years, and they think that if there is, a, for instance, a, a, a sharp slowdown in China, they're ready. They can, they can survive. They survived 2009. They can survive any, anything. But you're right. The longer term, there are serious issues that the German population, the German economy faces, one of which, of course, is the, the maybe the major one, is, is the, the Uh, the euro was in.